I thought I'd explain to you what I'm doing here. I have um, some wooden sticks which I've attached wet dry sandpaper to and I polish the screw head uh, by going through uh, these series of sticks. The first one as you've already seen was marked 250. It was 250 grit and I use that primarily to remove any fire scale and any sort of other blemishes, major blemishes on the screw head. Um, 
and then after that I go through a, a series of uh, finer and finer grits going from 250 uh, to 400 grit then 400 to 600 then 600 to a thousand then to 2000 and then lastly 2500 grit and I get these uh, fine grit uh, wet dry sandpaper from the auto uh, auto parts store under their auto uh, like their painting and detailing finishing just a sample packet that I got there um, and each time I I go through to a finer grit I first uh, dab the screw head with some radico to clean off the the grit from the the previous one not to contaminate the new one and uh, and then lastly once I've done the 2500 grit which is pretty fine uh, if I wanted any brighter and shinier than that then I'll take some Simicrone uh, polish and put on a piece of clean piece of wood and just uh, use that to polish the tip of the screw and that brings it to a really high finish and from there then uh, we move on to uh, bluing the screw or tempering it and I'll talk more about that in a little bit Okay, so for those of you who may not be familiar with the heat treatment of steel, specifically the, the type of steel that I use is the um, 01 oil hardened steel. Um, we start off forming these screws in uh, what's called a, a dead soft state. It is uh, very soft, very malleable, very workable and we get it to the general shape um, and then what you saw previously was me um, heat treating it up uh, by bringing it up to a, a certain temperature which is evident by the glow of, uh, of the metal in the torch flame and I did preview that uh, piece of video and and you couldn't see it very well um, on the video it just looked like a big ball of fire but um, you, you heat it up to a certain glow or a certain temperature and then quench it in oil and it takes it from the dead soft state to a state of glass hard. Um, so right now these screws, um, they're very hard, but on the, the on the downside they're very brittle as well. And so you can work them with stone or emery paper or that sort of thing, but you cannot uh, work it with a, a file or a, a graver or something like that. So we polish them up and um, the process uh, that we're doing now is called tempering which is to bring it if you can imagine a, a spectrum we're going to bring it back somewhere into the middle between glass hard and def, dead ho soft um, where there is some hardness to it some rigidity to it but at the same time it is workable um, so this is something I didn't notice until I cleaned them up here is the you can note on the the screw slots you can tell very clearly which ones are original and which ones are new because the screw slots on the the ones that I made uh, are a lot narrower than the original ones um, 
So uh, ideally I could go back and widen those slots to, to make it look more original. Um, and I may do that. If I do, it'll be off camera. But at the current time, it's workable and we can reassemble it. Um, the two original screws, this was one holding on the regulating device and this was the, the small one was was holding on um, that what we would call a cap jewel, but it's a piece of steel. Um, you can see around the base of the the original regulating screw is that it's already blued and the top was actually polished. So I polished it up again and uh, we're going to re-blue it so it looks original. And this is kind of a time-consuming process. You can see they're kind of starting to turn a little a little straw is the color and it coordinates with a with a temperature and um, and of course we want it to turn this nice deep blue and once it's reached that stage we'll put out the flame and it will be the hardness that we desire as well as the color that we desire now at that state I'll try to open up those slots but I'll have to re-blue the screws because I'm going to um, file off the, the nice finish that it has by making the slots wider. Anyhow. Okay, so this is closer to how it should look. Sorry, it keeps wobbling the camera. Uh, but we have uh, four polished blued screws. Um, point to them here. You know, the rounded top and uh, the polished top and the blued top, that's how it should have looked originally. I also polished the the one co covering um, kind of acting as what we would call a cap jewel holding the cap in uh, on the balance and uh, that's how it would have looked originally um, something similar to that uh, now over the course of time some of those blues will get little strat scratches and nicks in them because of screwdriver blades uh, taking apart and servicing the watch. But 
this looks really pretty good the way that it uh, the way that it is right now and we're gonna leave it and be pleased with it at this point I'll put the whole movement together um, the time train anyway and we'll test it out and see if it ticks